In this part of the southwest, rape conviction rates are among the lowest in the country. And that's desperately troubling when the national picture shows that since 2015, the number of reported rapes has gone up, but the number of convictions, always woefully low, is now so minimal that last year fewer than 3% of alleged rapes ended in a conviction. We need to look at the suspect in much more detail than, than we have. It's led to detectives here opening up all their investigations to a team of academics, which found they were missing vital evidence of repeat offenders. They're now piloting a scheme which looks more closely at past patterns of behaviour, but not for the first time. How frustrating is it that essentially you tried this, um, austerity came along and you had to stop it and now you're starting again? I think um, it's incredibly frustrating because again it feels on a personal level that we've taken a step back um, but it, it, we need to look forward. 60% of those people that are named as suspects um, in, in, in our crimes um, are suspected of other serious offences, 25% of sex, other sex offences. That means that we need to look wider because people repeat this behaviour. Like the man who repeatedly raped Naomi, it took her five years to persuade the justice system she had a case. I went to the authorities about um, sexual abuse, uh, rape. I wasn't believed. I had to fight for it to go to trial and in the end we got a conviction of 30 years. So he got 30 years and yet originally you were told there wasn't a case. What did it mean to you not to be believed? It's devastating. And when it's the justice system that turn around and pretty much say that they're not believing you, it's the worst thing possible that can happen. And even when charges are swiftly brought, some victims are having to wait three years for a court date. Of almost 36,000 rape cases reported five years ago, a staggering 1,800 victims are still waiting for justice. The government's repentant, but won't accept that cutting costs is to blame, although both the courts and the police have suffered. Much of what you're asking the police to do now, putting offenders at the centre of their investigations, was piloted back in 2016. You cancelled it because of austerity. How do you defend that? There's a, there are a number of reasons why uh, prosecutions have fallen. Uh, there's no silver bullet to this, but the fact that we might correct it in the future uh, does nothing to negate the fact that too many people haven't had justice over the last few years and we're very sorry about that. Back in Bristol, they're determined to shift from judging how credible a victim might be to focusing harder on the accused's behaviour. The government may have apologised, but unless it can deliver that change nationwide, there's little chance of justice being done. Rachel Youngen, News at 10.